Patrick Danielson. This is Idaho Falls location, Utah helicopter. Represent. We're going to learn about ground effect today using my good friend Robert Dennis's helicopter and this awesome picture showing the wind in a ground effect situation. A helicopter within one rotor diameter of the ground will be in ground effect. This is a situation where the wind coming from above the helicopter, the induced flow, is coming down through the rotor blades, striking the ground and moving outward. This uh, effect of the wind hitting the ground underneath will create almost like a cushion of high pressure air underneath, which will reduce the amount of power required to hold this hover, making it a very easy uh, hover to hold cons uh, compared to outer ground effect where we wouldn't have this cushion. It's also going to have more of a horizontal flow in, so you can actually reduce power and hold this in-ground effect hover versus if you were in an out-of-ground effect hover, for example, over here, the wind would instead be coming more vertically, keep traveling straight down, and not give us that benefit. Back to ground effect hover. Another benefit of it is that because this air when it hits the ground will flow out away from the helicopter, it reduces the vortices that naturally accumulate at the edge of the rotor blades. And that is ground effect and I'm hoping that you learned something today. This is Patrick Danielson, Utah Helicopter Idol Falls. Okay, here we see our little helicopter in ground effect hovering over the table. Now as we move it away from the table without adjusting power it's going to sink because it's lost ground effect until it comes back into ground effect near the ground where it assumes the same height of an hover as it did over the table. Hope you enjoyed the clip.